Okay, so this is the running tool for the drill pipe uh, camera. So you will have the crossover here from four and a half inch IF to the stop up uh, camera threads. So first, you will need to install the correct centralizer wings. You will find different sizes in this pedicase. You will install the largest possible. You will just put them on here, or you need to slide them in. Slide it all the way in. And then use the Allen key and the drop screw to secure it. And when that is done, you can give this crossover to the driller and then he can connect up the crossover to the pipe with the roughneck and have that ready. Then what you will do offline for preparing the camera, you will take off the protector. You will then unscrew this Okay, so when you have removed this cap, put it away Take the umbilical, put it through, and you will connect that to the camera. And when you are installing this afterwards, it's very important that these flow housings or flow pinholes is lined up with the one you can see here. Because when you start pumping, when you do the camera operation, that needs to be lined up perfectly. Just check the O-rings, that they are okay. So when you have in, uh, connected the umbilical to the camera, you will line up the running tool with these grub screws here, these two, with these two here. You will see the mark after the old grub screws. Then just push it in and watch the umbilical at the top, all the way in. You will then line the umbilical inside this mouse. And then you will just slightly or install uh, the grub screws, but with not any tension, just until so it doesn't rotate. Okay, so when you have got the camera inside, you will use these long grub screws and install them here. Just take them down, but and then slightly back again. And then you take the cage, slide it on, and turn it 
Okay. And then you will use this tool, special tool. Put it in here. Okay, so you want to align these two. Put in this tool. Okay, now you can see these two dots are lined up perfectly. It's an alignment mark, so you will have the pumping holes lined up. And uh, when that is done, you will function test the camera that everything is rotating nice and fine. And when that's done, you will tighten off the grub screws. And at last, you will install this again. And then the tool is ready to be installed on the drill pipe. And to do that, you can uh, use a pallet and a forklift or a jacketraller to lift it uh, vertically and then you just nicely uh, lift it up until you engage the crossover threads. So you don't want to set down any weight here before you have engaged the threads. And when that is done, you could use the rig's uh, roughneck or uh, manually tongue so what you have located to uh, connect up this connection but what's important when you do that that you don't want to rotate the umbilical that needs to stay put while you're rotating the crossover and that should only be uh, tightened up by hand this connection and you will secure it with grub screws